Now, as Shaq reports from Norman, consistency is the quest for OU. Thanks, Al. OU has four regular season games left. That's four more chances to forget about the Texas Tech debacle. Now, every Sooner wants to forget about it, but they know there's a valuable lesson in not forgetting it. Oh, this is every day. You know, every day in practice, we think about it. How we uh, have had that one blemish on our record and how we got whooped at home. And, you know, we brought, we're the team that broke the home winning streak. And it, it's in the back of our head every, uh, every practice. It's only because we know we could be better. We were a lot better than we played is really why. But, yeah, that does bother us. <laughs> so we want to go out Saturday evening and prove to ourselves what we, play, what we put on the field last time we were here and Norman was not our best, and that's what we're going to be out to prove. Texas A&M is also a little Jekyll and Hyde. Their best win was at Texas Tech, but they lost at home last week to Missouri. A&M's Achilles heel is turnovers. You know, if they have one or two less turnovers in those games their you know their their opportunity to win is um, they, in all likelihood they do win those games so uh, we're aware of um, you know the quality of football team they are Texas A&M may be on hard times right now but that's the same Aggie team that played OSU to a one point game back in September and that will certainly be on the Sooners mind reporting from Norman Jason Shackle for two news works for you Shaq, thanks. The latest number is TU one point underdog at Central Florida. OU by 13 and a half. OSU a 21 point pick at home with Kansas State and Arkansas five over South Carolina.